Hey guys, Joster here. Welcome back to the channel. So I noticed that some of you guys already purchased or maybe you're in the market to purchase a screen for your ultra short roll laser projector. Now in my case, I have the Vava 4K laser projector. And in this video, I thought of putting together some suggestions to help you maximize the picture quality to get better colors, better contrast. And also, I'm going to explain to you a little bit of the differences between the models they're out there in the market CLR, CLR2, CLR3. So if you're interested in this kind of video, welcome to the channel, guys. I'm Joster, and let's do this. So before you buy your screen, you got to make sure that you're getting the right material. There are three different models to choose from CLR, CLR2, and CLR3. Now, CLR is the best performer since it has 95% light rejection and it produces better blacks. It also preserves better color saturation under ceiling ambient lights. Now, CLR2 main advantage is that it's not as delicate as CLR and CLR3, which have horizontal lens structure designed only to accept ultra short or projector light. CLR2 has a similar sawtooth structure, but more open to accept ultra short row and short row projectors and has a laminated coating to protect it for dry erase function. Now CLR3 does not reject as much light, but it's still way better than using a matte white screen under ceiling ambient lights. Now one of the most basic but important things you must check when installing the screen is to properly place the screen according to the arrows. You see, if the screen is upside down, then the CLR material will absorb the projector light and make the image look bad and dark. You can also notice by looking at the screen. The upper side looks white, while the side that goes down looks gray. Now another important factor is to make sure the ambient light is not hitting the screen from the same source as the projector light or hitting it from a big open window on the side. Now this makes the image appear washed out and dark images will suffer the most since they rely on detail. And the more ambient light is trying to battle coming from direct angle, the worse the picture will be. Now when installing the screen, I highly suggest to have everything together. The TV stand or furniture will determine the height of the screen and ultimately the size of the picture you want to get. I personally like the screen to be at my eye level when I'm sitting so I don't stress my neck looking up or down. I have a small room so I could only fit a 103 inch screen size. My TV stand measures 20 inches high by 20 inches depth and the projector is sitting around 10 and a half inches away from the wall and I'm sitting around 8 feet away so this works perfect for me. Now for the installation, I suggest to have some power tools to make things easier, but it is not necessary. You also need a measuring tape and a level tool, which I use an app on my phone. Now there is no exact way to have the screen perfectly aligned. It may take a few attempts to have it exactly where you want it. Now first, I projected the picture into the wall, roughly where I want it to be. Now with the help of a friend, place the screen to see if the picture fits fine. Then measure the frame of the screen so you can determine the distance the brackets are going to seat. Then look for your wall stud so the screen can be secured. I have a wall stud finder to make things easier. Now remember, this is not 100% accurate. It took me several attempts before I got it right, but once it's close enough, you can make small adjustments through the projector keystone adjustment tool. I have the VAVA Ultra Short Row 4K projector and it makes things a lot easier. I have tested other projectors, but this is by far the easiest one to work with. Now after you're done, you can move your projector around without any worries. You can easily set it back to the original position without going through the whole process again. Alright guys, so that's it for this video. I hope this was helpful to you to maximize your picture quality when using this kind of screens and also this kind of uh, ultra short throw laser projector. If you have any other suggestions, please let me know in the comments right below. Maybe I missed something, I don't know, but it will be really helpful so we can help each other out. In the meantime, thank you so much for stopping by. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy this kind of content. I'm Jolster, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Jolster out!